Hello, my wonderful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your time zone or any time you are coming across this wonderful platform, Linda's TV Show. If it is your first time and you like what we are doing here, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you will be able to know when we upload a new video. What do we do here? We react to all forms of videos. We inform, educate the members of the public about what is happening in the globe because information they say is what power. I want to appreciate YouTube for creating this wonderful platform that we are using to pass this information across. At the same time, I put a disclaimer that here in Linda's TV show, all the content is here. Do not in any way intend to preach her speech misleading information, violent or instigating war. I don't like war, so I do not promote. I don't like misleading information, I do not promote. I do not like violence, I will never promote it. YouTube, take note of this. So my great... And I understand that disunity is an opposite of unity and unity is a, a key to peaceful coexistence between one another. And when we talk about disunity, we talk about war, we talk about fight, we talk about disagreement. So those who are against the call for the unity of Undibo, the question we should ask them is, okay, if you want us to drop the call of this unity, should we now continue to promote this unity among siblings, amongst relatives, amongst families, amongst brothers and sisters? Is that what you guys are saying? That we should promote this unity among these people? Now you guys are not out to join hand to help promote the unity that we are clamoring for. Now you are tagging this unity a name that is not befitting for it. So when we begin to ask this question, we need these guys who are against this call for unity to give us answer. Do you guys actually want us to promote this unity among Ndibo? Is that what you guys need? Is that actually what you guys need? Ono Choro, can I promote uh, this unity among Ndibo? Because for sure, as long as I'm concerned, the call for unity is a call for peace, is a call for coexistence, is a call for harmony among, among relatives. So when you are not okay with the call for unity of Undibo, it simply means something is actually wrong with you. It simply means you are against Ndibo. It simply means the problem we are talking about now that Ndibo are facing today, you are part of it. For decades, for years, that we have not, nobody has risen to put up a call calling Ndibo to unite for political purpose, to unite for economic purpose, to unite so that we can build our region as one people. And you cannot deny the fact that if it were to be other region that have River Niger in their region, that that River Niger by now might have been dredged and commissioned as a seaport because of how they are working together. We are talking about the what this unity has cost us. This unity among us has actually taken away some of the benefit we should have been getting economically. This unity, not agreeing to ourselves, each other, has actually made us to lose a lot of chances of making our region beautiful. And today we have seen what this unity has cost us. Politically, we are not stable because we are not in harmony. Economically, we are nowhere to be found because we are not stable. Because we are not united. When we talk about what we have not been able to achieve as a people, Ndibo, it is a result of not coming together to fight for that who should be ours. It is because we have seen ourselves 
to we we have actually stand alone and we have actually promote uh, what is it called individualism instead of corporate promotion promoting corporate coming together promoting oneness because we have allowed individualism to take the better part of us we are far short of so many glory that should have been ours, that should have been a point of celebration. For example, for example, tell me from the day democracy was reintroduced into the Nigeria government, uh, into the Nigeria system, political system, from 1999 to today, tell me what the ECAS has been able to achieve nationally. Working alone as a Ndeka. Tell me that which India and Nyota have been able to achieve from 1999 to today. Working alone as India and Nyota. As India and Nyota. Tell me that which Ndokwane has been able to achieve. Standing alone as Ndokwane from 1999 to today. Because they have made themselves too minor that nobody is giving them an attention the reason why everyone if you want to become a senator today if you want to become anything in nigeria today you run to the north it is because of their unity knowing for too sure that the strength that these guys are enjoying today it is a result it is a result of their oneness not because they know how to play the game more than every other ethnic group. Because they have actually understood what number can give to them. And that is why when an Yoruba man stood up now, he want to get a vote of a people. He ran to the north because he knew that if the north stand by him because of their oneness, that he's going to be having a bunk, a bunk vote from the north. No politician we 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 see so of Ndibo. No politician we reason so of the Ndibo whenever he or she is fighting for any position because he know for too sure that Ndibo are not united. And Ndibo cannot give him or her a bunk vote because our vote will always divide and that is why they sow seed of division among us whenever we stand up to begin to fight for national interest Ndokwan will be fighting different for a different agenda Ndeka will be fighting for different agenda Nde and Nyota will be fighting for different agenda instead of every one of us coming together to unite for one single purpose and that is why when we come to Nigeria political space, nobody take us for serious. Nobody take us for serious. Because they know that our vote will not make any meaning. Because even before then, they've divided us, they know what we can amount to. So it's a game. Nobody take the Southeast for seriousness because they know that the south east is already divided the equators are standing alone the echels are standing alone our brothers who find themselves in kogi and benue has been absorbed into the north northern system leaving us so we've lost a, a very big fraction of our population to the north as the result of allowing state creation to take better part of us in Kogi and Benue and we are not seeing it as a case and we are not seeing it as a case we should be concerned of when somebody like me stood up and reason and begin to call and begin to talk about the unity of Undibu somebody will sit down somewhere and begin to tell me man you don't know what you are saying man you are defrauding people on the internet man you are working you are a terrorist man you are working for IPOB man you are you are, you are, you are a fellow and when you look at those who are calling me that name they need what I, they need this solution that I'm preferring even more than me when you look at those people who are telling me that I don't have job and that if I have job I won't be on the internet making noise I'm even better than them they need this solution that I'm providing for them 
yet they come in him. Yet they don't agree to the point that we need this unity to defeat whatsoever issue that is standing before you, I, us, and every one of us. A whole lot of things is wrong with us. And this is one of the problem that they are yet to understand. When we talk about the unity of Ndibo, most of you thought that I don't know what I am saying. Who said that I don't know what I'm saying? How did you know that I don't know what I'm saying? Who told you? Because the truth is that if you have actually risen and you know study Nigeria system, you will understand that we have left that Nigeria system has actually left Ndibo behind. Are you getting me? You will understand that we have that Nigeria has left Ndibo behind when it comes to a uh, political system and some of the things that makes Nigeria what it is. Of a truth, we make Nigeria what it is when it comes to governance. <clears throat> when it comes to governance, when it comes to politics, and these are some of the things that make Nigeria what it is. Ndibo, we are left behind. One of the strategy that Nigeria use against us is this strategy of divide and rule. They created states for administrative purposes, but they sowed a seed of division among us through those states, making the Igbos who find themselves in those states to believe they are not part of the Igbos who find themselves in Delta. Making the Igbos in Delta to believe they are not part of the Igbos who find themselves in Kogi. Making the Igbos in Kogi to believe that they are not part of Igbos who find themselves in Benue. And also making those in Benue to believe that they are not part of those who are in Enugu. And these are why an Anambra man will stand up and begin to make jest of an Igbo man who is in, who is in, uh, what is he called? Who is in, a uh, boy, who is in, we call ourselves vice versa. These are the reason why an, uh, a data person, an Igbo man who is in data, we call Anambra man one Igbo. It's an issue. And when we begin to, when we study those issues, we discover that these are one of the major reasons we need this unity crusade. When I, when I begin to call for the unity of Ndibo, and people begin to see it, there are few, many understood where, where we are coming from, but we still have many who don't buy into the ideas of Ndibo uniting together as one big family. And it is a shame on their own side. It is a shame on their own side. It is a very big shame on their own side. On our morning tree today, we are looking at what the, the disadvantage of this disunity and the advantage of our unity. Now, number one, right from the moment democracy was reintroduced into the Nigeria system, 1999 to date, you know, working differently, working differently instead of coming together has taken us nowhere. We produce senators who represent us in the uh, upper uh, green chamber. We produce House of Assembly members who represent us on the red chamber. Yet, year to year, they eat money, allocation are being given them, but there is nothing to be right home about. We've not seen them move any motion that will be in favor of the region. Even if anyone tried to do, who and who is going to stand on his or her back to support that motion? Do you know why they cannot make any move? Because they have not agreed within themselves that they are working for the region. Because Ukwali, a senator representing Indokwa, did not see himself as a senator representing all the Anibu. 
A senator representing a number of ways did not see him or herself as a senator representing Ndibo in general, irrespective of the state where you find yourself. But did you know that a senator representing Jigawa believe there is a senator in a, in a green chamber because he is representing all the northern land? This is the difference. It does, they does not uh, believe in the constituency that produce them. They believe in the oneness of the northern land. But when they come to our own point, on our own side, we only believe on the constituency that produces us. And when you solely believe on that constituency that produces you, you make little effort. Yeah, sorry. You, 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 you make little impact. Because even if you want to, even if you want to uh, sponsor a bill, that constituency can never give you the strength or whatsoever you need to make a huge impact or to make to make that policy, to make that bill pass a, a, a vote, majority vote. Because every um, policy you are sponsoring, every bill you are sponsoring, within the national and uh, national house of assembly and senate need to third of the total number of those who are sitting in the house to pass now when you are standing alone as an indoqua senator representing indoqua west or east how many senators because you believe you are all alone for the indoqua how many senators are standing behind you if you are a senator representing a car west a cast out. How many senators will stand behind you when you are sponsoring a bill? So our people need to understand that we are one before the state. Akumazo Motia is older than Nigeria. So if I should look at whom and how Akumazo Motia is whom Akumazu Mocha is connected to. Those we should call assembly, we should come start from the beginning of uh, beginning of the beginnings. The beginning of time. Using state creation as a means of identity has actually dead with us. So I am calling you guys to rethink. Stop fighting this cause of unity. Because it's going to, it's, it's for our own benefit. This unity, this unity we are talking about is for our own benefit. Whether you like it or you don't like it, the unity we are calling for, it is for your benefit, it is for my benefit. We are not doing it because we want a certain a uh, group of people to benefit. It is for the benefit of all the Igbo land. Politically, this division has not in any way helped you and I. Economically, this division has not in any way helped you. Let me still ask this question. If this river Niger is located within Yoruba region, or northern region. Are you going to tell me that now that, that river Niger by now no who be able to put here? They would have fought for the dredging of that river Niger, not minding the location of river Niger, but let it because it is located within the the what is it called the northern part. They will dredge it, they will commission it, and they will make it to be to become a seaport where cargoes, containers will be clearing and landing. But because it is located within the east, we did not agree to work for the for the oneness because it is the unity that is robbing us of our goodness. Every senator, both the ones in Ibake, both the ones in um, Abafo, both the ones in Eka, Aniocha, Ndokwa, Omambala, Imo, 
Ikwere, Ogba, both the ones in Enugu, both the ones in Abia, both the ones in Eboi, Kogi and Benue, they should have have by now. I am calling them for the recognition of oneness. They should understand that it is time for them to begin to work as one. To support one or one another so that they can be attracting and give bringing to all the dividends of democracy. One of the things that has robbed Ndibo, that dividends of democracy, it is at the result. It is at the result of disunity. Let me tell you, the second Niger bridge that many people are now uh, attributing or uh, uh, crediting to, to Buhari today, if Jonathan had not awarded that uh, second Niger bridge, Buhari would not award it. If you like giving credit that he accomplished and he did marvelous, let me tell you, if it's not because Jonathan awarded that second Niger bridge, committed some fund with some agreement, Buari wouldn't have, Buari wouldn't have, Buari wouldn't have, you know, made any effort to award that the second Niger bridge. I am telling you the, the greatest truth. If there is any region that need a railway, it is in Dibo. All the railway connection connecting Ibaji, Ubiaja, to Wari, to this one, to Owa, connecting to, what is it called? Connecting to <coughs> Uromi, going to Abuja, Ubiaja. The money they are making through that railway on that connection is going to be little if they have connected the railway through Lagos, seaport, coming to Anambra, coming to Delta, connecting to Edo Delta, connecting to Aba, reaching out to uh, uh, Potakon and all that. But this route is a route that, w that is a national. But who will do it for us? When we are not united, we cannot be able to make a demand that the federal government will pay attention to. That is one thing, and this is one of the reasons we are calling for the United Ndibo. <clears throat> so that we can be working for a goal that will be of benefit for you, for me, for us, for everyone. Don't allow inferiority complex to cage you perpetually. Don't allow inferiority complex to keep you at a point where your sense will be buried while you are alive. Because most of you are reasoning through your anus because of inferiority complex. Because of pride and ego. Because you felt that you hate certain people. You can't hate whom God has blessed. You cannot hate who God has blessed. Whether you like it or you don't like it, as it stands today, are you a wonderful? We stand different. Are you a wonderful? We stand different. <clears throat> We stand different. I don't know what to say again. <clears throat> for you to actually understand where I am coming from. But know you for too sure. That we are being robbed economically because we are divided. Things are not working for us in Debo. Governmentally. Politically, it's because we have allowed this division to stay more than it should. And that is why even in Alibo, if you want to become a senator, you go to the north to pay homage. Is that not a shameful thing? If you want to become a governor, you go and kneel down to one Sariki in a in north. You go to the north to pay homage, to take uh, permission to become, because we believe that they have what it takes to make whosoever in the space of politics. You understand me now? You run to the north because you want to become a, a senator. You run to the north because you want to become a governor in a state that has no connection to the northern hand. 
we have made ourselves a subject of caricature. We have made ourselves a, a subject. We have made ourselves a subject of caricature. Because we have accepted that minority status. Because we have accepted that division status. Because we have accepted the po that, uh, position of seeing your siblings and not recognizing them as your siblings. Because we have accepted to stand alone in a, a place where we should be celebrating unity. If I want to run a position of governorship in Delta State, first and foremost, I'll go to the north and take a clearance. What, what a word. How we have reduced ourselves to nothing. And when we go to school, these men that we are running to, to take a kind of excuse from, are not in any way uh, close to what we can do. Let indeed we come together. Let us come together and begin to change this narrative. Let us begin to change this narrative. I put it to every senator and House of Assembly member who claim to be honorable and yet they are not. You can only be honorable when you have brought honor to your constituency. When you have brought honor to your constituency. Any man, any woman who find him or herself in that position yet to and he or she is yet to put in or promote the unity of Fundibo. He or she is not worthy to be called or addressed as a honorable. <clears throat> he or she is not worthy to be addressed as honorable. Because you can be addressed, you can only be addressed as honorable when you have brought honor to your people, to your constituency, to Ndibu at large. It is very, very quite unfortunate <clears throat> that all the politicians in our land are not held accountable for the shortcomings in our regions. But we are calling for the unity of Ndibo to address some of these major issues that has come as a threat to our economic growth, that has stood as a threat to our political stability, that has stood as a threat to our oneness as a people. We have a lot of things. Our lands are fertile. But when a, what is it called? When uh, a budget is made nationally, a, pro a provision is put in place for agriculture nationally, and we have not received it and asked question, why are we not receiving our own terms, our own bid on that national disbursement on agriculture? Well, we have land that are fertile. A lot of things are happening to us that we are yet to ask question. But we are leaving those on our side until we come together as one big family. Then we begin to address matters as it concerns you and I. Who will fight for you and I when we are not united? Your sister, your brother, your children, your sons will ride jump, will ride wayek. They will be out 
with a, 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 a score, a, a score mark of 190, 230, 240. No, no university will admit them. If at all they will admit them, they had to pay hundreds of thousands of naira with to support that their mark before they gain admission with their choice of subject. With their choice of subject. But the Northerners, they will score 90, 80. They will begging them. They will be begging them to come and study. They will be begging them to come so that they will admit them. The quota system. Nobody has risen to fight it. Because everybody is working to your tent, O Israel. Even if somebody, a senator, decide to query or fight this system, he will not have support. Because all the senators, because all the senators within the region will never be bold enough to stand by his back because they believe they are fighting for their own people. A senator representing a nurture will only sit on the floor looking at that senator from Undokwa West fighting for the region. The quota system that Nigeria is operating now affects all the eastern end. Starting from Ibaki to the least uh, states we found in the old eastern region. No one is left out irrespective of our denial of being one. Irrespective of our, our denial of being one. So I am of the opinion that it does not matter. It doesn't matter what you do or what you are into. Let this call for the unity of Fundibo be your concern. Let this call of unity of Undibo be your concern. Let this call of unity of Undibo be your concern. There are so many things we cannot get as a people. Until, until, until we are in agreement to work as one family. Politically, governmentally, there are things we cannot achieve until we agree to work as one family. Now, there are a lot of things that I still want to let you know. One thing that this unity has done to us is that when you come to this region, the oil that we found in Delta, we have reserve in Okwani, in Indoku, and so on and so forth. We have reserve in Anambra, in Imo. We have reserve in uh, River State, and so on and so forth. But yet, there is no son or daughter of the state that I just mentioned that owns an oil well. Ibori, who is not an Igbo man, supported the move of owning what is called resource control. That was the beginning of Ibori downfall politically. Ibori is not the most corrupt politician in Nigeria. But the reason why Ibori was arrested in London persecuted and jailed in London is because Ibori supported resource control. Go and make your inquiry. Not because Ibori looted Nigeria fund, but they painted it that way that Ibori looted Nigeria fund because the Britain know that that resource control is against the agenda in Nigeria system. They say on the Monday, okay, is also being incarcerated today because she is in support of that resource control, not because she is the highest looter we have seen in petroleum ministry. 
The reason why London decided to persecute these people is because these people never work for the interests of the London, of the Britain. Same thing happened to Alamesia. That was what killed him. If we are united as a people, there are things we cannot allow to happen to us. What has before the Equerimado today in London? Equerimado is not paying the price because he took a boy that want to uh, donate kidney for her daughter. No, Equerimado is not the first person a first Nigerian senator, a first person from Nigeria, Africa, that has embarked on such journey. But Britain are taking their own pounds of flesh by what Equerimado did during the time of Jonathan. It's a peg back time for them. They are using this medium to fight back. And none of us have seen it that way. Today, the only thing we can boastly achieve is becoming a security, a pipeline security. Securing pipeline. Product that is in our backyard will become security. We are being paid peanuts. Children of those we don't know are flying chopper, using security to walk about the states, eating money from the resource that is being gotten from our state, yet we are fighting ourselves, claiming we are not one. Ikwere, Egbema, Ogba, you are claiming you are not Igbo. Ukwane, you are claiming you are not Igbo. You are not uniting with your brothers. To see how you can put your hand together, hear your hair together to fight what is your problem. Yet, they are making use of you. They are eating what is your, in your land. They are making you know that those, uh, these people are not your brother. They know that when you unite with them, your strength will be much. A lot of things is wrong with us. Those who are against this unity clearing call that we are uh, uh, that we are calling now are those who has a hidden agenda against you, against me, because they know that once we are united, a whole lot of things will go wrong with them, and that is why they are not happy. See, not talking about the unity of Fundibo. Have you asked yourself? Why is it that 1914, the document that produced Nigeria, there is no signature of Igbo man in that document? Have you asked yourself why? But the white man, they took a, a man from Calabar to represent Igbo in that document. When we talk about, let us come together and make meaningful, let us make our life meaningful. Let us put things together. Let us work so that we can, you know, we can, we can kill this political backwardness. We can kill some of these things that are affecting us. Each time we call, we make noise and said, we are being marginalized. One of the greatest points they are using to marginalize us is this division. When we are able to take away division, nobody, I mean nobody, can marginalize us anymore. I said it. When we are united, we can liberate ourselves from this political backwardness, economical backwardness. Have you asked question? So when we begin to talk about coming together, it doesn't really matter what you what you call what I'm doing. But I know for too sure that I have a goal and I have a price, and that is what I'm paying now.
Those who see reason, who see, who, who read meaning into what I'm doing, understand what I am doing. And they appreciate it. And they appreciate it. I until we come together as one big family, we cannot be seeing ourselves as those that are being marginalized. A minority has no voice in the midst of majority. Because even in a state house, house of assembly or senate, and you are giving my, uh, my minority leader. Have you actually followed those people during their plenary or whatever? Whenever a minority want to talk during the time of any Nayabaribe, he will address himself as a minority leader. Hi, Jesus. A minority leader. You are already minus yourself. A minor. Do you know what that word means? A minor. Nobody takes your word. Nobody takes your stand serious. Because standing up in the, in the first place to introduce yourself as a minority leader. You've closed the chapter. That you are minor. Your voice is minor. Your opinion is minor. Your contribution is minor. What you are representing is minor. And they will give you a minor attention. Did you see how we are being marginalized? They will give you a minor attention. And when majority is true to talk, the majority leader. And these are people they see as those who hold the power. And when, when majority leader is talking, he will have majority standing by his back. And the Senate President or House of Assembly leader we recognize his position as a majority. Number one, he knows that those majority can force his position as a Senate leader, as a House of Assembly leader. So the, the Senate leader can turn down your request as a minority leader because you know you are minor. You cannot even uh, move motion for his impeachment because you are minor. So whatsoever way they choose to treat you as a minority, you will endure it. I don't want my people to be treated as a minority anymore. That is why I am calling for the unity of Undibo. We are majority. Division among us has brought, has introduced that mentality of minority that our people has taken to the state house, has taken to house of assembly, national, has taken to senate. Most time he want to talk in the house. I, I I I still commend him. I commend him for his little effort. But when he want to speak and said uh, he addressed himself as a minority leader. Hi, a minority leader. You can only do little. You can only do little. Because you have introduced yourself to be minor. Everything you represent stands to be minor. Everything you represent stands to be minor. Hey! We need to come together as one big family. What I'm begging you now is that make sure you share a program, gossip us, tell people about this. We need to begin to go wider. From today, check your newspaper, check Punch, check, uh, what is it called? Check uh, Vanguard, check Sun newspaper. Look at the ones that have spread the news of uh, unification. Follow up, let people know what we are doing. Let people know what we are doing. Hello, my wonderful people. As we are finished watching this interesting video, 
please i want to see your comment your contribution your opinion in the comment section like i said earlier let us do it constructively tell me what you think about this uh, video that you have just watched and also about the platform if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for please remember to subscribe put on your notification bell share this video and remain blessed